adore when compositions are taken in incredibly uncommon and intriguing directions like this. There's an enormous giant on a smug, playful rampage deep in the city. Yet the one being viewed from an extreme angle from below is the normal-sized girl standing at her door to the outside, itself framing the whole scene in the distance far past the nearby housing and greenery. Takes a lot of skill to pull that sort of scene off, especially with how crazily the perspective on Sakura here is drawn, with her roller skating equipment all on. That door frame and open door look mighty cool too, and the shifted perspective on them give a better idea of how the perspective itself is changing, leading to the view of Tomoyo that seems almost normal with all this craziness. Smart to have Tomoyo's head start right under where Sakura's skirt would be cutting it off too. No space is wasted anywhere on the canvas. The shading and lighting on the indoors is ace for highlighting the whole scene too. It draws your view naturally out to the brightness of the outdoors and the chaos Tomoyo is unfurling at her feet. Sakura's exceptionally looming figure, itself that of simply an elementary schooler at her normal stature, is hit by the incoming view to where you can see her cute legs lit up. But as you reach her head, you can only see hints of the light coming within due to how much is obscured by her own clothing and body. It's hard to put into words properly, but I love the effect nonetheless. Tomoyo looks so pretty out there. That expression is wonderful. Exuding sheer grace as she dons her own cutely designed outfit in the vein of Alice, finally putting it to its other proper use towering over everything rather than when it was worn by Sakura, shrunken down to the size of a bug. I know she loves seeing Sakura in the outfits she makes, but these recent pictures where you've had her wear both this and the big card episode's outfit have been a lot of fun too. It's unique, and Tomoyo's own personal beauty gets to be used properly. Funny how much bigger she wound up here, demolishing skyscrapers to bits and covering the city's skyline with debris and smoke, compared to her more conservative scaling back in the other picture. Definitely worth the wait for this one to go from work in progress to fully fleshed out. With how much time and effort you put into this, there's no way it would have turned out well when it was being crafted at the very tail end of a stream. That incident was unfortunate and frustrating, but perhaps some good came of it after all, even if I still wish it hadn't happened. Moving off that note which itself doesn't taint my own view of this phenomenal piece at all. I gotta compliment that Sakura POV even more. Even beyond the sheer lowness of it, it's also unique in that it's viewing her from behind, something almost no POV pictures in general do at all. Despite all the difficulties involved with an even more unusual view, you got it down just as astutely as you would any other take. Now that's skill. Sakura's little lolly legs tower upwards into the relative normalcy of her own house, with her rollerblade gear patting her for her travels into the outdoors, just like any other normal day. All detailed finely with plenty of folds that suit the bends of her legs and visible seams. 
plus the view of the back of the rollerblades themselves up closest to the bottom. Sakura's rollerblade stuff is adorable. I'm glad you included it, especially when it'd make more sense for her going outside, as it's her usual. Just, she probably wasn't expecting that view to greet her. Ah ha 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 ha. The destruction is a decidedly different take than normal, carrying the prior mentioned grace and feeling more along the lines of a Seo Tatsuya piece. What with the broken buildings and framing themselves obscuring one's view of Tomoyo's shoes and all of the building debris and dust that you normally don't tend to include. I like the variety. The demolishment still carries excellent visuals as the skyscrapers crumble and the obscuring honestly flows well with the framing of the picture. It's quite the sight. You did spectacular on this whole thing, and I heavily appreciate how you continue to mix your art up far more than most would ever do. Keep up the awesome work. Look, I managed to not even mention the perfect view of Sakura's pantsu this whole comment. Wait, there I go. The Kiro print is banned, though. You got it down just as astutely as you would have any other day. Why does she say lolly legs? Why does she say? Why does he say lolly legs? What the fuck is that? No! Oh my god! Oh my god! With an even more unusual view. <laughs> Why? Why? Why does he say lolly? <laughs> that oh now that skill sakura's little lolly <laughs> 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 <laughs>